The Cats, uh, they knocked over Port at Port's home ground yesterday. They were pretty dominant, the Cats. 39 points at quarter time. Got out to 60-something but finished at 48. Lingy, Stevie Johnson returned. He's a freak. Stevie Motlop is developing into a serious freak. Hawkins kicked six. Pods four. They're brilliant. They were home and they were looking to bounce back, obviously, from their first loss of the year last week. And uh, did they bounce back? Seven goals to zero in the first quarter. Just made a fair statement. Didn't let the crowd get involved in the game at all, which was a smart thing to do. James Podziadli was terrific. He ended up with four goals for the game. Jordan Schroeder, this young kid, he's only played a handful of games, but he's starting to show a lot. He kicked two for the day, and he's, he's a pretty tough tough young player. Port Adelaide actually came back fairly well in the last three quarters of the game. It was Geelong 11 goals to Port Adelaide 9, so reasonably close, but the damage was done in that in that first quarter. Tommy Hawkins kicked six for the day. He's uh, he's back. He's back firing up. Joel Selwood was subbed off the ground uh, in the third quarter with a bit of an elbow complaint, but they're saying that's not serious at all and he should play. Matty Thomas kicking a goal there, but and Jordan Schroeder finishing it nicely with two goals. Uh, as I mentioned just before. And the three things that I learned is that Geelong is building some quality depth through some of their young players. Port's turnovers are killing them. Their kicking was pretty ordinary yesterday and Geelong really made them pay. And Tommy Hawkins, he's starting to hit that peak form. Six goals, as I mentioned yesterday. He's starting to run and jump at the ball. He's been a little bit restricted with uh, some back stiffness. That appears to be easing up and now he's moving very freely. And that's probably not a great sign for the rest of the competition. He was in the uh, airport yesterday and he, was, you know, he wasn't moving well. That was the fifth time he's kicked six goals. He's impressive. But who was really impressive yesterday was Stevie J. He missed with a calf. He came back. Looked like he'd missed nothing at all, Jet. Oh, he's a fantastic player. And, Lee, I just want to ask, he seems to be playing more of a midfield role. Have you talked to the boys and, and their older players? You know, Jimmy's playing in the back line to let the younger guys go through the midfield. Joel Corey's playing in the back line. How are they handling that as the more experienced players? Yeah, I think they're really almost reinvigorated by it. You, you mentioned Stevie's loving that freedom of running through the middle of the ground. I think he always thought he was a <laughs> midfielder anyway. Uh, Joel Corey's gone back. Jimmy's gone back. Um, Jimmy now and pushes forward occasionally. He's missed a few, but he's in Brownlow form. Stevie J, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's just, he, he keeps finding the footy. And he got tagged early on in the game uh, yesterday by Kane Corns, but burnt off the tag. And I'm not surprised he played well. He, uh, him and Kenny Hinckley were very, very tight when Kenny was at Geelong. He would have wanted to have a monster game against his old mate, Ken. Stevie Motlop, uh, Stewie, is a player that is just starting to really develop. You talk about players with confidence. He looks like he's happy to take anyone on any time. He sort of dances and dazzles and weaves his way around the place. Yeah, he does. Uh, I, I played against him a couple of weeks ago and um, I, I found myself on him and I was a little bit scared. I thought someone else has got to pick him up straight away because I won't be able to go with him. He's, uh, I know he, he runs really hard and uh, he, he can sprint all day, so he's just a tough matchup. Boys, this is uh, Jackson Thurlow kicking his first goal. Stevie Motlop trying to get him around to, uh, to give him a bit of celebration. <laughs> Boys couldn't be bothered. Stevie just gives him the little thumbs up and that'll do. That was like a little wave from the Queen from Stevie J. <laughs> and two uh, mentions, Jordan Schroeder, he's been dubbed Chappie with hair. And uh, George Burberry, who debuted yesterday, was terrific. It looks like he loves it out there. Yeah, he does. He does love it. Um, Georgie Burberry, terrific young fella. Uh, he, incredibly, Chris Scott even said it. Uh, 12 months ago, he was that far from playing AFL footy. It wasn't funny. Kicked six in the VFL Grand Final last year. Came back into the VFL, st straight into the team. It's uh, it's really exciting his development. Okay, from the Cats to the Bombers, you know.